Greetings to viewer. I'm Petu and today I will be your guide to Challenger. This is a new series that I wanted to do where I will show you the good, the bad and the ugly when it comes to climbing the Challenger and hopefully I can guide you through this journey together either by you watching my climb to Challenger. This is now my first ranked game on my main account you would say in this season. So we will be seeing how far we can take our Shen mid lane and top lane. But I will be queuing primarily Shen mid and top lane. Today we are playing versus an Akali. We have an early invade here. And unlike my, let's say, more traditional commentaries, I will not try to specifically entertain for the purpose of entertaining. So I might not buy Night Harvester, right? Okay, it's not in the game anymore, but I know might not buy Terminus, right, on Shen mid lane. However, uh, the focus of this series will be entirely on the thought process of a player who is climb to, climbing to Challenger and all the obstacles that you face and how you navigate this soul queue environment. And that's what I plan to do with this series. Looks like Nocturne is still going for some kind of invade. They actually switch lanes which is kind of spicy, because I took Nullifying Orb in my runes and I took also Phase Rush because I am... I, I was thinking I'm gonna run into Akali, but it's actually a Jack's mid lane but I think I will be fine here, nevertheless maybe the... oh yeah, maybe Jax probably just didn't want to lane versus Rumble, I mean I understand that versus Gr Jax, obviously Grasp would be better but we will make do with what we have. And we might also notice that, unlike my usual style, I am... Really, I took that. Okay, I'm not running uh, Ignite. I am playing with Teleport today. Uh, I have a hypothesis that Teleport will just be more beneficial when it comes to climbing, because of the fact that Teleport is kind of a get out of jail free card, which I have been neglecting for a long time simply due to my obsession with early kills um, but the thing is that if you take ignite into a champion that takes teleport even if you solo kill them you might still end behind end up behind in that situation because um, them having teleport and you having no wave clear means that you can't fully shove the wave out after the kill and that usually and in a very bad position. Some missed CS there. And use W there to negate a little bit of his damage. I'm not looking to trade in this lane since uh, he is running Ignite and I am running Teleport. I mean, not aggressively anyways yet. I also have uh, one scaling health. And an E back here so that he can't follow up the fight onto me. Mm, looks like Rumble dies top lane, which is really bad since he doesn't have Ignite. That's actually terrifying. Lock this W. I have to be careful now because he has EQ of cooldown and I don't have my E. So we have to wait for my E cooldown before walking up. Do a little trade. Back and forth action. Remember he has Ignite, so I'm gonna use my health potion now. Got his Ignite down. I know my limits there with W and also nullifying orb works, works versus Jax's um, uh, W. So I had a little bit more tankiness than he probably expected. Nocturne dying here will not be good for us. That is, that is really bad for us. So what has happened basically in the first four minutes is that our top laner has been solo killed. My jungler has given a takedown to my laner and my support has died in the bot lane. The most important thing you can do as a player here is... Nah, okay, look, even I set up a freeze to mid lane so that I can TP back and the enemy jungler and uh, uh, support come clear it. But that's just that's just the way, it's, way it is sometimes. And the most important thing is to never uh, let these adversities kind of take over your mental because you always have to be focusing on what can I do that is the most important thing to win the game that, that's what you need to focus on 
I'm now going to take a recall because I can afford uh, my Tunneler component which builds towards Titanic Hydra. So this will be my mo f first bought epic item in most of my games. I'll be instantly TPing back to mid lane and even though Jack's got a takedown, he has some assist gold, um, we are in a much better position now. We're probably gonna roam here for Brand, um, trying to punish him for this invade. Kaiser will be roaming, it looks like Ash already died. I'm just gonna E out. Now don't get tilted by your bot lane guys, focus on what you can do, what you can do to win the game, that's the only thing you can focus on. Now we have our ultimate, we can affect the map, we can start utilizing our sta champion strength potential, look top lane, anything top lane, look at jungle, jungler is taking the void crops, make sure that he can secure them, maybe trade an auto attack or two with Jax, but nothing that puts you in uh, danger or in a position where he couldn't ultimate because you have low HP. I do not need to be trading, I do not need to solo kill Jax in this lane. What I want to do now do is hover uh, topside in the jungle, in case that Brand is moving towards there. Uh, this way... Oh, this is really good. Yes. Perfect movement there after shoving the wave mid lane. Rumble might need help with Akali, but it's fine. I'm moving back to mid lane. I should be able to help me with the last hits. Ah, I didn't think she would help me with that one, but she did. So I ended up screwing the last hit up. Um, for my items, I want to build Titanic as soon as possible. Ideally, I don't delay my Titanic by purchasing tier 2 boots. Sometimes it is necessary. Um, if you're in a situation where you have 900 golden recall and uh, there's nothing good to buy. So for example, I think Ionian boots beat Ruby Crystal and Longsword. I'm going to flash. They should not have CC to kill me here. I'm going to walk towards my blade and Q to get passive shield. They used ignite, they had did a full three man roam. And I'm going to ult on Ash and come back to lane. I will purchase plated steel caps here. No, I will not. I will purchase these. And a refillable potion. Basis movement speed to get out of death range. Kite them, kite them. Kite forward. Get CC'd. Don't think we can kill. That's bad by Smolder. Not worth. At least we probably get Drake. Um, I could see here if Brand is trying to steal. He doesn't have steal potential, I don't think so. I'm just gonna go mid lane. E or the wall, get experience. Get the minion. Alright, I got some mail. <laughs> nice timing. And... Hmm. Actually, nullifying orb kind of saved me there last time. I think I would have died without it. Interesting tech rune. I, it is my first time playing with nullifying orb ever. So I just thought I'm facing Akali brand, so that's why I took it. Akali has such insane magic damage burst. But it felt necessary. Cancelled my auto attack. Not necessarily good. The thing why I pur purchased Ionian boots there in that situation is because I'm going to instantly get value out of it because the 15 ability haste will affect my first ultimate, which is the longest cooldown in the game, at 200 seconds. Uh, now it's just a matter of rushing Titanic Hydra. So if we can get Tiamat on a back, that's really good. But just settling for uh, 1100 gold purchase of two, two long shorts and hell, hey, Ruby Crystal is also fine. I'm gonna walk up here a little bit. He does a nice little W. Uh, we have no vision of brand, so we have to be real careful. Remember, I don't have flash. If I use E actively here, proactively, I might die. There is no reason for me to put myself in danger of dying. Uh, I'm not gaining anything by doing that. I'm going to place a ward in the bush. 
Jax is posturing quite aggressively, which would indicate Brand's proximity to mid lane. Not necessarily, but can can be that. 15 seconds on ultimate. Need to keep Jax here. It's going to be a fight in the top lane. I'm fine, I have face rush. 4 seconds ulti. Just can run out. Don't want to lose the mid wave. I think Jax lost more with that roam than I did. It was two CS there. Always E backwards when he presses E. I missed my apartment Q. He should have been dead there, I think. Oh, well, we got his flash. Actually, maybe he doesn't die. It's really bad. I should have walked along a little bit further so that I uh, would have actually got... Oh, yeah, yeah, I missed cannon. Why was Ash taking my CS? <laughs> oh, and it's good to push. I greeted for the range minion and missed cannon. Classic. And 1100 um, gold. This is what we mentioned earlier, but we can't actually get it because we have to ref... Uh, we'll just do this. I want to keep my refillable potion. Didn't have enough inventory space to purchase the last longsword. Uh, next goal is to get 1000 gold and recall and TP back to lane with Titanic Hydra. That is going to be our power spike. Notice we are running Gathering Storm uh, in our rooms, so we are actually not as early game weighted as Shen is usually. And Gathering Storm is actually a surprisingly good rune. Um, it, it impacts the game actually quite often, especially when you think about, okay, what is a minor rune going to do? Like, it's gonna net you an early kill uh, if you take some kind of aggressive, like that's, that's the best thing an early rune can do. But what Gathering Storm does is it gives you an edge in those games where it goes beyond 30 minutes. And then, then the value of Gathering Storm really comes into effect. So I am testing it out at this moment in time to see if I like it. Uh, it's The thing is that the alternatives, water walking, is hard to utilize correctly. The value you get from it is very random and mostly dependent on the early game skirmishes, if you can get an early game skirmish in the river, but um, it's so um, unpredictable whether you get that or not, that the value of it is quite random. What? Focus guys, I think. This is bad, I need to go out. I need to flash the brand queue. The engage from Nocturne was... I mean... I think I made a mistake in ulting Nocturne. Like, we didn't need to fight that necessarily. We were not strong. I think Nocturne pressing ultimate there kind of baits me into ulting as well. And the thing is that he waited so long to press ultimate afterwards, like for the dash, that I didn't appear at the end location. I appeared a little bit closer, which then meant that I didn't get off my taunt on the members. But I will say it's my mistake for ulting, because I didn't think that was a good position to ult in anyways. That's really bad by me. Not get that W off. Have to look at brand. Got a thing on the ward. Remember we just want to get our um, Titanic Hydra. Jax is super strong. He's 3, 0 and 1. Lulu is in the mid lane again. Lulu got recently buffed in this patch. Uh, her Q does a little bit more damage if she hits both parts. I think I have enough AD to kill that, yep. Yeah. Okay, after this wave it's recall time. Titanic Hydra activated. Game in a little bit of a better position after that. Allows me to get priority more easily um, by shoving the wave. I think I will instantly TP to mid lane. TP on the cannon minion to reduce damage? No, didn't work out. I think it was actually bad because not the cannon minion. Uh, like a reduced damage on the can minion itself, which is not what I wanted to do. Rather, I wanted to reduce the damage that the can minion deals so that the melee minion would live. 40 seconds ultimate. No flash on me. Enemy bot lane has shown a tendency to roam, so I have to keep in mind that they could be here. 
Brand seems to be topside as well, need to be careful. He played that well now. He's realized that uh, I want to walk towards him and then E. I'm going to walk topside, maybe pick up a kill. I think Rumble gets the kill by himself. He can't really follow this up more. Rumble will die. I think there was a way to, for Rumble to live. I could maybe W, but his movement was not good. You just keep walking towards me. The Blade of the Ruined King slow. Actually, it was Red Bluff, so this time. Blade of the Ruined King first item is quite interesting by Jax. Mm, I should maybe itemize armor. Putting out good damage here. Bot lane dies. Oh, I, I tried to look for an ultimate. I don't know if it would have helped, but I should have been looking there at bot lane. Um, if I want armor, I would go for something like Varden Smell. This guy will have a lot of healing too, so Bramble West might have value this game. Gonna E out so that Torrent gets stunned and lose a lot of HP. Kaiser is going for early AD. The recall timing is a bit bad if he pushes it. Yeah, I'm gonna stay. I need to be careful of a bot roam here again. They might dive me. Perfectly maneuvered around the minions to get the last hits. This is a fine recall now. It's a cannon wave, takes longer to kill. Uh, so I'm thinking I should purchase Varden's Mail to reduce the damage this guy deals. After that I will be building a Sterax Gage to get some tenacity for Lulu Polymorph, uh, Brand Q, Jax e -stun. Looks like I don't miss any minions actually because he have chops, which is really good. The cannon minion did not come into range of the tower, so that's why I missed uh, that one minion, one melee minion. Because it took an unnecessary tower shot. We are holding good CS per minute. We're going to get a ward now with the time that we have. Um, this will also help me in case uh, enemy bot lane roams towards mid lane. Primarily to spot the jungler though, but will also help with the support. Look bot lane now. I'm going to ult on smolder. Have W ready, got guys a flash, it's really mid, big, and then we're just gonna walk back to mid lane instantly, don't wanna lose CS. Have, we can retain TP, I don't want to, I don't want to fight bot lane, bot lane can do what they want, they're, point, they're gonna drop Herald mid lane. Uh, I can try to defend, as long as I don't waste my E, I should be fine. Grand is drifting in. Just needed to dodge the Q. That was all I needed. Unfortunately, couldn't kill the Herald in time. So they got mid tower. Um, my magic resist is really low, which is quite frightening for the team fights. Probably Mercury's boots would have, Mercury's threads would have actually been the better option for boots this game because then I could have circumvented going Sterax and gotten my tenacity from the boots. I don't necessarily know if we want to fight yet. The way we want to fight is by not engaging. Oh no, that's really bad of me to take that damage. We Midwave is even, we don't have priority. I can't, like we can't fight this. We really can't fight this, we will lose. It's just we are not that strong in the game yet. Press on. I really did not like our chances. They have Eclipse, Blade of the Ruined King, 
huge item. Why does Akali have six kills? How? Oh yeah, she's got then three kills from Nocturne. Ooh. That's... I'm bullshit, no. this, it's whatever. I, I, I'm going to need magic resist. Akali is going to deal too much damage to me. Um, I'm thinking force of nature. Would be a good option. I can also sit on the Negatron cloak. Versus Rift. Should probably get a ward here. Uh, in case. Yeah. Rand and Akali will do so much damage to me that it's, it's mandatory to go magic resistance here. Yeah. If he over overcommits for Smolder. No. I needed to see an ultimate forward from Akali, then I would have um, ulted on Smolder. Ulting on Ak uh, Ash there does nothing because um, W was bad. No reason to do it. Because uh, Akali can kill Ash through the shield anyways. I could TP bot to catch the wave. I'm gonna do that. I, I saved the tower. It, it's it's worth. Losing the tower here means big power spike to Akali. Probably something like a Rabadon's death cap purchase. So that's why TP here. I have my ultimate up. The fight is really bad for us there. Akali can one shot me quite easily. I'm going to ult. Bad by me. I couldn't catch on to Lulu. Nimbus Cloak lets me catch up there, I think. But I'm running Nullifying Orb, which did save me once, but I think Nimbus Cloak is better in the long term. Bot wave is really bad. Mm, we're gonna lose top tower as well. I'm gonna move there to catch the wave. Wait, how did Akali... Did Akali join the fight? Did Akali TP there? How did she get another kill? Am I tripping? Or was that kill the Ash kill? The 700 gold shutdown. I feel like in my games Akali is always fed. Like always. And that champion is disgusting when ahead. I need to be really careful here because I wasted my flash. Unfortunately I have the ward behind me to help me um, see if they collapse onto me. I, I, I want Force of Nature um, completed. I'm going to roam a little bit to mid wave. I can sell Doran Shield for 180 gold, but I still need a little bit more. Can we clear this? Okay, that's good. Ideally we would get Baron Vision, but it seems difficult in this position. I, I have nothing to contribute. One more wave. We have Smolder for late game, which is good. You know what, I'm going to keep uh, contributing pressure. Because this is a moment in time where the opponents want to punish mid lane play. Okay, we see Jax behind us, he could jump over, so I need to instantly E out. Jax can kill me, otherwise he has Trinity Force completed, he, his damage output is quite insane. They might have gone to Baron, but I can't stop it in any way. Yeah, they are doing it. I have 10 seconds on ultimate, I'm going to purchase Force of Nature now. I'm going to swap to Blue Trinket. Um, for a thousand, I think they just got it. Maybe we could look for some kind of kill. I missed. I can't catch up with these guys. I, I'm perma slowed. Wait, my team surrendered. <laughs> that's, that's the way the games go sometimes. You are 1-0-3, didn't make any major mistakes uh, and the team uh, simply surrenders. But that is the way, this is, this is the guide to do, uh, challenger, like these games are going to come. People don't talk about them, but they happen. You're not gonna see your average YouTuber post this kind of game, right? 
And then you're gonna think, why am I so unlucky when the YouTubers are always so lucky? They always get good teammates because of selection bias. Yeah, that's my first placement game. Did I make major mistakes? Maybe one or two. Ultimate onto Nocturne. Uh, missed E in last team fight. Okay. Whole team inted and surrendered. Am I upset about it? A little bit. Am I going to let it affect my future gameplay? No. I'm only going to think about what I can improve myself. And we're going to queue up again. Alright, and here we are in game two, now facing a Victor mid lane. Standard Doran shield start. Nothing spectacular. We have Blitzcrank, could look for an invade. They have Morgana to counter it. If Morgana starts with E level one, I mean that's already pretty spicy, but uh, it can happen for sure. I have one kind of thing that I like to do, is ward this bush. And this is inspired by Polypuff's, um, I think it was Polypuff, maybe I'm wrong. Any anyways, Bard player uh, made a video about his favorite early invades. And then he had a section on counter invades as well. And by counter invades he means uh, kind of these methods of uh, killing someone who, or getting advantage when the enemy invades. And this is a popular invade path nowadays, at least <laughs> it's popular when I'm on blue side, because I take it every game, is people come from blue side into this, and then try to catch the enemy jungler here with a hard CC, for example Morgana Q. By warding this bush, the only thing that I'm considering about this is, I wonder if I can get the ward in before the enemies arrive there, because the ward cooldown is like unfortunately a little bit long, so then I don't think you always... Nice, blocked it with passive shield, he loses airy. <laughs> Getting the small advantages. Gonna focus this minion so that it dies first. So that it's easier for me to last hit all of them. Consistently. I will have Q up for the second minion. I lose my blade positioning for that, but I want to guarantee it. Also, uh, guarantee the minion kill, I mean. And also, I don't think I am necessarily looking to... Early trade versus a Victor, and um, he's just gonna outrange me. But level 2, I can look for something with Face Rush. This matchup still Titanic Rush versus most mages, most champions you go Titanic Rush. Versus some fighters, worth to do Bummy Cinder into other stuff. Look for a EQ here. Dodge the Victor E. I take a lot of damage though, but notice I have sustain advantage, right? I have to sustain advantage. I have second wind. I have uh, Doran shield. So even if it looks like a bad trade for me, putting the opponent at lower HP is gonna be worth. He chunks me there hard with a Q out attack, airy proc, scorch proc. Yes, um, okay, he uses E as well. He wants to really push this wave out so that he can take a recall. Without teleport, these kinds of matchups are kind of unplayable, uh, unless you get an early kill, which is possible. Again, a little bit of chunking. Can look to health potion soon. I take a lot of air damage there. Get a slow. And kill. The reason why I flash like that is to flash into my uh, Q blade barrier zone. I need to... Can I go for this? I'm, I'm too low. I need to TP back to lane. I mean I need to go now. But I'm so low. Yeah, they got it. Perfect. I have 1000 gold. I could purchase bummies. What? Victor roamed. That's really my bad. I didn't expect him. Ah, I should have seen it. I should have seen it coming. That's really bad by me. Um, I'm gonna purchase these. TP mid lane, control ward. Okay, brand with the forbidden free stack. W here to freeze the minions. You can stay in lane though. 
I'm really upset about my decision to recall immediately. I didn't even consider the threat of Victor. He 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 TP'd and then came to me, right? I, like I don't think he would have made it in time with a simple walking to lane. It is what it is. It happens. You should not get too upset about it. Just know that next time you need to think about are you in danger or not in that sort of situation. Good damage. The reason why I walk in front of Blitz is to deny the potential of a Q flash from uh, Y. I'm gonna keep moving here because I can get the follow up. At least I can block a Morgana binding, right? I can do something. I can use my body there to uh, help the team get the kill. We got Morgana flash as well, which is really huge. Notice Victor is low HP here. I don't have my taunt though. He dodged. I did too much there. Uh, control Vartis. He's, he's probably going to ult the wave, I would assume. To get uh, a recall off. I mean, at least that's what I would do if I was Victor. But maybe it's not necessary for him yet. I just clear the wave. Maybe he's going to ult the next one. He's used the uh, potion elixir of Avaris here to get a little bit of uh, uh, adaptive force. Now we're gonna see if he had TP or not. Because I generally, I'm not sure. I, I think he might have just walked to lane, which is why it surprises me so much that he made it in time. I need to push this wave out before I can move. Is Ignite enough? Maybe it is. Hold the Draven in bot lane. Got CC'd unfortunately. I won't be able to catch up. I can push the wave with Draven. He needs to get the recall off. I'm going to lose stuff mid lane though by doing this, but... Okay, just movement speed out. I think we get the wave crashed in. I'm gonna look for a recall now. Wave is not perfect, but it is what it is. I'm gonna purchase Tunneler and Boots. Run back to lane. But it's kind of holding it mid lane, which is good. Top lane, Garen is in a fine position. Riven is a little bit ahead in CS because of her proxies. And Garen has been roaming at bad times. Shows you the advantage of proxy farming because um, when the opponent roams to either kill you or help their jungler, then you have already pushed the wave out, meaning that your opponent will always lose more CS. So you have more time to play the game. I don't know how I actually feel about proxying. That's not good. I still have flash. Ooh, why flashes after me as well? I don't think Brand is gonna kill. I think it's gonna be really bad. <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> Blitzcrank is forcing the place mid lane. Like it's a, it's a full HP victor. We have no information about the jungler. I don't know. Like it's it's very hard for me to ignore that gank, right? Because uh, he will get tilted if I just stay in lane and farm, but um, I don't know what to tell you. Fucking <laughs> Draven flash, nice. <laughs> uh, I should have gone mid top lane, it's really bad by me what I did. <laughs> I should have gone top lane so hard. This is really bad. Well, Draven gets an entire crash on the way. That's, that's a major mistake by me, that is... Like you could call that a game losing mistake by not going top lane. We lost one and a half minion waves. I really don't I really don't like Blitzcrank forcing plays mid lane right now because what it is doing is it is making me behind in experience. 
um, constantly because he's taking minion experience. And also, like Victor is not just one shotable. We we are two tanks. I don't have any damage items yet. Like at Titanic Hydra, I will I will I will be. I will be. <laughs> are you having a stroke expert? I don't know. <laughs> My bad on the other deck. I will be stronger at Titanic Harder, that's what I wanted to say. Mm. A little bit of gathering storm potential, 5 AD. Nice clearing the babes. Raven is the most important one. Taunt Victor. Don't know if it's gonna matter. Morgana ulti. Get out of range. I'm still fine. What? <laughs> I'm permanently rooted and I can't move. <laughs> oh, this this game is gonna be difficult. This game is gonna be. Real. I guess I need to go Mercury Strange already. That was just. I could simply not move. I'm going to purchase Mercury Strange. Keep it offline, catch the wave. Oh. It's the minion. I feel like my ultimates have been good, but the fights that we have, they're just they're just simply stronger than us. I don't know how Senna has five kills. That is weird. But I have three deaths, so you should probably be looking at me for the excuse on that. Even extremely strong with Eclipse. Probably strong enough to dive me here even. But I don't think we should be constantly fighting like this. They're going to move for this play, by the way. I don't like this at all. Like, we have no business in taking a 3v3. We are, we are not stronger than them in any way. Not in a 2v2, not in a 3v3, not in a 1v1. So, forcing a 3v3 with no objective is simply a misplay. I'm wondering, however, if I should have just given up there and instantly run away. Because um, at least that would indicate that I'm, I'm not willing to fight. Or I should spam ping. Farming. Surprisingly, both ADCs are kind of strong. Let's go minions. Garen will be super behind Riven. Super behind. Got the guaranteed stun. Faces out of the stun, and we got Victor Flash as well. We pushed in. I, I don't have enough for the Amat. No, he can't make it out. Not possible. Recall is really bad. I simply get a long shot. What? He broke the. What? I've never seen that. What? You can. I didn't know you could do that. You can break the bleach crank hook by getting blast gone at the right time. That is interesting. I mean, I guess it works like a Tristan and W. So that you can buffer the jump and it just goes through CC. 
That's really crazy mechanics. I should have made the ulti there. At least he got one kill. I don't know if he even lives with my ulti. No, he doesn't have enough. Okay, 1450 again, that's the power spike. Get, get to that point. Mercury Threads really slows down my build. It's kind of like in hindsight purchasing the tenacity that I would have needed in the earlier fight. So I don't know if it's actually worth because I'm not guaranteed to go into a similar situation before I get my Titan Kyra power spike. But at least the Mercury Threads will not be wasted in this game. I won't have to itemize magic resist more than that, uh, and it will give me the tenacity that I need. I can look for a Varmox build. Raven's now mid lane, I guess I should give him farm. A little bit awkward here, I could sell my Doran shield uh, to get my item, but I don't think it's worth because Doran shield is actually a really strong item. And by you selling it, you lose all of power. This fight is not one we want to take. And about this bush. I would ideally go back before fighting. I don't want to give him stacks. So I shouldn't be in all that range. Raven dies, but there's, there's nothing I can do right there. I need to get these minions before I can do anything. Ah, miscalculated again. I should have normal auto attack and then queued. So now I have to move for this. Can we kill or no? I think I have just killed myself. I'm gonna bring them here for a loop. over the wall. I don't know if it's gonna make me escape though. Disappearance act. Bloop. <laughs> and he's out of there. <laughs> okay. Titanic Kyder, able to purchase. Should I control ward or not? That's not. I'm going to move top lane. We got the dragon. I think this is good. I think this is good. Armor will be required, I'm afraid. Um, they have three heavy AD dealers. But... This crank is doing stuff. An open Raven. Okay, we got Morgan and Flash. Hotline is fighting. I go there. I'm gonna move there. Victor's pushing top lane. This is not gonna work for me. Unless. It shouldn't. I'm gonna just go top lane. This is a waste of time. Yeah, I'm, I'm standing on top of a ward, so any play that I try to make is doomed to fail. I'm very behind on CS this game. Simply because of how, how the game state has been. Very chaotic, uh, constant fights, constant skirmishes causing me to lose. CS. Yes. I'm not too upset about it. I'm not going to level my ultimate here because um, I will get another level up before my ulti comes off cooldown. So this will make me slightly stronger before that in case a 1v1 happens or in case anything happens. But I need to use my E. Seems I need to recall probably to catch bot wave. I would like to get the top tower though. It's completely possible here. Five flashed. Very probably dead. Good hustle though. They're gonna look with three p okay, it's just Victor. I can catch another wave. I'm going to purchase Deadman's Blade for the armor and uh, because they have so much kind of movement like Victor fast 
Senna with Ghost Fast, Morgana, uh, CC, Vikeus, Rivenkeus, everything. And Dead Man's Blade is just gonna prove useful here, I think. Now I can put the point into my ultimate after delaying it for one. Didn't get any value out of it now, but I, I still think it's the correct decision. The expected value of level, leveling E there is higher because of the potential for some kind of fight. I'm gonna do put a control bard in the dragon baron pit. Uh, helps spot out cheeses, although they don't have a high DPS baron comp, so it doesn't. It's not a like very prominent threat, but still good. Ten seconds. Ultimate current spot lane. Nice hook onto Senna. I will now have to look for the ultimate. Two seconds. Not worth anymore. They TP'd already. Unfortunate fight happens just a little bit too early for me. Um, they might look for the Baron now. Uh, probably will. I will just put pressure top lane. If they spend time in killing me. Uh, it's going to delay the Baron a little bit, so I'm gonna consider that worth. No recall here. I'll go bot lane. I can finish a Winged Moonplate and a another Ruby Crystal. Drake wants to go bot lane. We should fight for the Drakes, I think. Mm, I'm gonna go catch the mid wave then. They're going to be super strong here. Um, Draven has a lot of DPS. Like, if we can keep Draven alive, if, 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 then I think we can win the fight. Brand is useful as utility, but I mean, he has good damage as well. Also, the Rylas will be doing work. We don't know where the opponents are, so it's very hard for Draven to go for that play. They're already dead. Might need to flash. No, they don't chase me. They're probably... They don't have Riven. They're gonna kill Brand. <laughs> Wait, did Brand flash into them? I don't really understand what's going on. <laughs> it's alright. I have dead man's plate if I recall. Even is running ignite, so no TP threat. Why is now a Drake? I'm going to I'm going to recall. I could TP mid lane to try to save the tower, but honestly I think I'm just gonna get CC to death. And finish the dead man's plate. They haven't actually gone for the dragon still. We could still maybe look for an angle. I'm going to look for this. It's probably not right, but... I should not have taken the kill. My bad. Okay, okay that you have slain an enemy was just slow. The down top with the dead mass plate moment speed. Riven is behind us. We find our nice try. Almost. Wait, brand passive might kill. Pause. I think Y shielded maybe. Draven is strong. Stay here, but it seems a little bit doomed. Senna ghosted. Oh, 
Okay, Draven. He's going for something. I'm gonna run out here. Perhaps out. Got the Senna. Lots of magic damage coming through. I might need to go another magic resist item in addition to the Mercury stretch here. Uh, no, I will purchase the Rax Gage. It's, it's a really good item. I should not overlook it here. Gives me additional tenacity. There is so much CC on their comp that it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be worth, even though tenacity doesn't uh, stack additively. Uh, because that would be broken. Still fine. Thinking whether a big axe is better than the ruby crystal, and I think it is. Alright. The Dead Man's Clade is something that I've only recently kind of found to be a good item. Uh, this is actually my first game testing it in a high low match. And I've overlooked it because I never felt like the damage was meaningful. However, in I think it was season end of season 11 or start of season 12, a base AD ratio was introduced to the bonus damage of Denman's Plate. Um, making it so that Shen's now buffed base AD actually gives more value for Denman's Plate thus kind of putting the calculations in favor. It also stacks up quite fast and with phase rush it synergizes with this kind of in and out play style of you running in, getting a couple of auto attacks in and then using phase rush movement speed to get out, stacking Deadman's plate even though uh, your movement speed does not actually affect the uh, duration it takes to stack Deadman's plate, it's simply moving, um, moving for a certain period. I think it's three seconds that gives you the full stacks. Terax is 1000 gold. I would ideally purchase that before Baron, but it's 30 seconds. And I cannot push forward than, more forward than this because the enemies can be looking for a play um, over there. So I'm just gonna have to rely on Riven pushing the wave out first and then me catching it afterwards. I could go bot lane. I'm gonna open Draven, but I don't know if he lives. He does not. Will be bad for us. I don't want to TP yet. Oh no. Maybe I'll look for Senna, but. I'm gonna keep pushing. Ravens, the ground is dead. We're gonna lose mid in Hubitar. They can't do Baron with the DPS that they have. This is not gonna be awkward for me. I have no way to beat this guy. So I'm just gonna try to use the phasers to get out. Okay, even with the unlimited dashes. Phasers movement speed, get out. Even ulted. I think they're over committing onto this. That's a big play if we get it. Sterax Riven is here still Enemies being surrendered, what can Senna be here? <laughs> well, that guy is just way too tanky, he has Sunder Eclipse, I don't know why I even tried to in. Senna solo strike here, that's really bad for us. Mm. I'm led to believe that the uh, teleport in into this ward was a misplay. I'm not 100% sure. It just it looks that way because of the bad outcome. But I think it was necessary to do something. I could have just gone... I could have gone bot also, try to save the inhibitor tower. 
still have the inhib up. Garan is quite strong, Draven is strong, Brand... Brand is actually strong as well, even though his KDA seems deceiving, obviously with 13 deaths. Um, but the damage output that he can do with just just using his ultimate is going to be effective in fights. So I don't think this game is lost by any means. It's simply going to be a very difficult one with us losing uh, the inhibitor mid lane. Mm. I'm going to take these. Just amplify my god a little bit and Brand didn't seem like he was going to take these anyways. They are doing Baron now. I don't think we can stop it. They don't have smite, so... On. Mm, I'm gonna put a bard in the middle of the lane here. That will see any rotations that they make through here. Uh, Karen is being collapsed on. My ultimate will not change the outcome of that fight in any way. Um, try to get the W on the Draven. Draven is coming here. I got stunned by that really. Oh no, I'm dead. That is unfortunate. I don't know if they can hold it. Probably not actually. If Draven gets hit by any ability, he's going to be dead. Maybe maybe branch damage is enough to get the wave. Good. Okay, we're still in this. More magic resi- Oh, actually. If you look at the damage output there, it was mostly physical. Could purchase a jack show at this point, actually. I'd also go for that. Gives me a lot of resistance. So I have enough tenacity now. I have a, quite a few HP. <laughs> Points. I lost two inhibitors now. Mm -hmm. They don't have soul point yet. Draven is full build. Draven is the problem. I'm going top lane. I tried to make a play by taunting the Y. Ended up backfiring. Should I have done something different there? It's hard to say. I. It seemed like a good play at the time. So I'm not gonna dwell on it too much. Open Draven. Ah, gonna get out. It was a really nice sidestep by Riven on my taunt, so the moment I came in from the ultimate, uh, he used his Q sideways, I believe, to dodge my, um, to dodge my E. If I hit E, he dies because he gets bursted by Draven. So that was a major mistake by me, mechanical error. It was a difficult game, but this is how games are, like, you don't get things for free. Let's go into the third game here and try to salvage our 0-2 uh, placements so far. All right, and now we are in our third game and today we will be playing, or now we will be playing versus a... Christ, a uh, Vagar jungle? <laughs> what is that? That is quite spicy. I have, I, I'm gonna be honest here, I have not seen a Vagar jungle. That's me being brutally honest. But then again, we have Brand Jungle as well, so I think this is just the meta that we're in today. They have three, four mages actually. Which makes me wonder. But Force of Nature is probably a good item in this game. Probably a very good item, they saw us. This is probably int by me. Okay, hello there Urgat, how you doing on this fine day? Will I be poked out by Rice? He probably starts E. Yeah. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. Can't get a good blade. Actually, you know what? Uh, maybe we can cheese on the blade position here. Huh? Seraph in his mid lane for some reason. Well, we couldn't get our blade positioning. Uh, I had to ruin it because um, I needed to block some. 
damage with the passive shield. Press on. Rice is just dancing in the mid lane. Interesting. Bad Q might be by me because I can block. It must be two bad Qs by me. Waste two passive shields, really bad. That's like losing 100 HP. Locked it now. Triggers face rush. 30 second cooldown. We'll be up at 230. I wonder if he's going to run out of mana. He has a tier start. Makes him a little bit more susceptible to a early all-in, for example. It's a good EQ off. He's probably looking to reset. I think the melee minion took too much damage. <laughs> That's fine. I'm gonna prep my Q here. Get the cannon minion. Put two points into Q. Allows me to last hit the range minions. Chilling, and I have more CS than him. This is good. I have TP, so all of this damage is quite relevant. We have a Vagar gank top lane. Good move there, but I will lose a lot of minions, so I can't. I could, but I can't. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go for a taunt here. Faces out. Didn't get much retaliation from him. They kill Vagar. Very good. This guy's kind of low on mana. I'm gonna get hit by the EQ there. Nice dodge the Q. He's out of mana. You can punish him a little bit here. Couple of attacks in. Now shove as fa fast as you can. He needs to recall. Actually, what if we don't shove? The ward on the raptors. Agri spot line. Take the cannon minion and recall. I could get tunneler here, it's actually fine. Very good job by our team. Get another kill on the Vagar. Now we're gonna have to take some damage to farm under tower and then recall, but we'll just get this wave. Minimize the amount of damage that we take. Is that too much? At some point it's gonna be too much. Not yet though. Okay, you can get the tunneler and <laughs> level three Vegar coming from behind my tower. Interesting. Does Rai really stop me here? No. Merkreds. Oh, DP. Uh huh. It's a good move. So I think I can catch them. Charman is looking for a play. He missed. It's just the play is just all over the place. Ooh! Let me get that guy as well. Okay. I'm 
gonna get the health here and rice is low in mid lane. So we're gonna look to roam there. Don't need to use a bard. He took a little bit of damage. He's gonna run away though. Wait, he's staying. I can catch him. And Phaser's kill, get his flash as well. That is very good. And I get the mini I got the minion as well. Mwah. Bellissimo. Uh, boots purchase was crucial here. If you go tunneler, uh, I don't get this kill, right? I realized that there's going to be a lot of fighting, so I just instantly opt for the tier 2 boots on that recall. So that I can catch up to my opponents and make the plays. Beautiful. And now looking for tunneler on this recall. Also helps with the laning since Rice will be snaring me. Put the ward down there. Right. Nice didn't didn't stand uh, close enough to the minion so that I would get the EQ damage. by him, spamming his abilities, probably being very happy about himself. Ooh, I'm poking the Shen. Not realizing that I have infinite sustain with Doran Shield second win. I'm weak right now because I only have my Merc Threads and I do not have TP. Oh really, I had enough AD to kill it already. Okay. Ah, sorry. Really bad mistake. The first one was acceptable, second one was not. Cut the taunt. Guarantees Brand's huge damage output. Run away a little bit. Get all the CS. 40 seconds ultimate. Arch up the wave. Could look for an execute here actually. Beautiful. So by eing in there and getting the execute, uh, I actually get the wave under tower and kill the cannon minion. Um, this is a little bit of an advanced wave manipulation technique, but it's very crucial in scenarios like this where you don't actually have enough wave clear power to get the wave under tower. Uh, but I denied like five minions with that. I have ultimate. Rice could be top line, this is warranted for sure. From the shadows. Rice is back mid lane. Maybe Jarvan could look for a roam. Oh. Use a health potion in case we fight. No, I need to go mid lane. Vegar stop. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> My ultimate shield was so small. We can block the Zyra auto attacks. And auto attacks. Yep, okay. it flashes. There's refillable potion here. Nice, Bran gets the kill anyways. Oh. Ooh, what a beautiful play by the Jarvan support. <laughs> what a pick. The guy just said in loading screen, uh, or in champion select, Jarvan looks pretty good here, and then he picked it. Big damage on the beggar. Punish him out a little bit. Thousand seven hundred. It looks to purchase my tunneler here. No reason to stay really. Rice will be back with a lot of HP. 
I won't buy control war there one delay my Titanic any further or delay it with Mercury Stretch. Insane second wind value this game 700. Jax tries to get out, couldn't quite make it. Rice is top lane, so he misses some minions in mid lane. Three melee minions to be exact. Actually a range minion as well. Should be looking at brand, I should move. Oh, never mind. I walked up a little bit too far, buddy. I'm gonna get a tower plating. Maybe even kill. I'm gonna waste him, make him waste his root. Yeah. Okay, now he's in kill range. Up. Oh, I missed. That's fine. Gotta look for that play. But the way we do it is by. Um, he's dead now. So I just guaranteed my uh, kill by getting the Empower Q uh, before uh, before E flashing on top of him. And I have enough to complete my Titanic Hydra and I have TP back to mid lane. Jax gets a tower despite his difficulties during the laning phase, which is very nice. And a kill. Uh, Force of Nature is our item. I'm gonna ult on this, never mind. I, I, they're, they're gonna need an ultimate soon. Vegar is going to come behind them. I'm just waiting for that moment. I want them to commit more. Oh, this might also be worth. I'm saving my TP now, because... Nice, kill on the rise, then go to mid lane. I can also look for a TP afterwards on bot lane. I would most likely TP on a minion that... Okay, Vega flashes. I'm gonna just get the mid priority instead. My TP doesn't accomplish much there. I can get the tower plating before 14 minutes. 13.55, got it. Jax is super strong. Nice. We are not gonna put the point into our ultimate again, uh, as we did for the last game. Because it's two minutes of cooldown and I will get a level up in two minutes for sure. Oh no, I'm dead. <sighs> That's the biggest mistake you can do, dying for free. So there's two things about Urgot, okay? You need to cast E. Before he is, because he is, his E cancels your E. The second thing is, if you don't cast it before his E, definitely don't cast it after his E. You know what I mean? Because it will get cancelled. So the only times you should cast E is after his E has completed, or um, He flashes on top of me there. The people, they are doing different stuff than usual. <sighs> I'm really, I, I am like, I'm not upset about the earlier two losses, but I'm very upset about that play that I did. Or not play, but mistake rather, that I did dying to Urgot. That is like something that should never happen. It's just unacceptable. Uh, whenever you make a mistake, mistake like that, you need to humble yourself and think that, okay, any game I lost, it's because of mistakes like that. It's not because my team surrenders, it's not because my team is 0-10 at 10 minutes. It's not because of that. If you make mistakes like that, you can just chalk all, the, all your losses up to those. Until you perform at a level where you're not making a single mistake, there's no excuse for you. Like, it's not bad teams. Nice, get a clean kill. Once he entered tower range, he was doomed to die. Um... I have to be really careful, I think I just lose the tower here. If I get snared by Zyra, I'm dead. Urgot. Urgot is such a weird champ, man. I could recall... Um, I can also just keep pushing. Remember, we got, want to go for Force of Nature. Um, 
We're gonna be super squishy to Urgot, so the way we can play the game is just by not fighting Urgot. Itemize full magic resistance and don't fight Urgot. Missing kind of minion is like... Maybe could look for a play there. He's dead. Ah, that is unfortunate. Okay, and with the nuke. Flashes, they still have tower. It's not very good. My ultimate super bad. I should first first of all ping the fact that I'm thinking about ulting so the Charmon can play accordingly. And not flash out immediately. Like the, like don't blame your teammate for flashing out after the Shen ultimate. They won't have the reaction time necessary. That is Urgot by the way. I don't wanna engage in anything with that guy. Charmon got out. Not just recall, reset, uh, relax a little bit. Abyssal Mask first item to benefit. Uh, Brand's damage is quite insane by Charmon. Working out well actually. Pushing P, I see. Um, I catch the mid wave, that's my job, I think. Veigar went for Crypt Loom first item. Ionian Boots, Predator. Has to be the spiciest jungle deck I've seen in a long time. The wave cleared, we can look for a Rift Herald now. It would just be playing a little bit smarter, making a lot of mistakes. Should not be happening. He flashed again. Is the Traeger cage larger than normal or what? Rise has no flash, rise has no flash. Thank you. Nice. Now get Herald. And no dice bot lane. I can't fight Urgot, remember. That's the only character I can't fight. <laughs> so go engage. <laughs> I can get this wave by force of nature, go bot lane. Gonna be a good rotation. Hopefully it doesn't cancel my recall. Just TP coming into full effect here. Nice, got it. I think our recall is already finished. Have ultimate now, can look for top lane. Gonna be quite massive here. Remember Rise, no flash. Ah, oh, I didn't have my Titanic Hydra out of that. He would've been dead. Uh, I used it on the wave earlier. That's my bad. I, w I was spamming one and wondering why nothing was happening. Uh oh. He has another Q maybe. I try to block stuff. Now looks for a W. Ward on Q on the ward, no. Okay, not sure. Thinking about my items. Warden Smell is the best single item against Urgot, but I will go for HP, I think. I'm going to need more tenacity, I believe. Asterax is such a nice item. I I think you should build it in almost every game. What's the fist bump? Okay. He could be doing Baron, I think. <laughs> He's going for the place. Jarvan Brand is actually a nice combo. He dies though. Haha, <laughs> Urgot ulted as well. Okay, Brand. Bombus me. We get more. Wait, the Rift Herald charges again. He does like that. He got double charge. Is that normal? Uh, 
and going for something. Get out of there. I just move my speed. Ooh, nice pick. I think go for Drake now. The Baron, or, uh, sorry, inhibitor die. Baron. <laughs> Use the extreme jungle pants. I'm actually go bot lane. I think Brand can get Drake by himself. Nice. All those. Urgot is not here, so I'm very safe. Safe to even push up this far. A face rush and force of nature. The magic damage dealers are not a problem for me at all. Prize ultimate. Trigger face rush with my Q empowerment. Have to kill, can look for chucks. Gave a shutdown, it's not worth. <laughs> we, really, we really just wanted to kill the Vagar. <laughs> Ruby Crystal is now worth more than D Shield, I, I think. It gets 40 more HP, you lose access to the HP region. It's not worth. Never mind. I think D Shield is still worth more. 4 health every 5 seconds, 1 health per second. So if you're in combat and then plus the passive, which does 45 health over 8 seconds uh, divided by 8, it's um, 5 per second at max. Look for a TP behind them if I need to. Yeah, yeah, I can kill them. Focus Seraphine. Got the down top. Hey, <laughs> by the way, Ruby Crystal would have killed already. Nice. <laughs> Maybe Ruby Crystal was better in the end. The increased damage from Titanic Hydra from Ruby Crystal would have been enough to kill. Urgot is dead, so I have nothing to be afraid of. I'm immortal versus all these other champions. Next goes for play. I'm gonna keep hitting the towers. The Zyra plant has been hitting me for a long time. I'm gonna keep ending the game. Burgot alive now. And that's game over. Beautiful conclusion. Three games, two very difficult ones. One where my patience was rewarded. And that's going to be one, two in the placements. I'll see you in the next video.